Farmers, charcoal producers, and workers in Liberia filed a complaint demanding accountability for human rights and environmental abuses by Buchanan Renewables, commonly referred to as BRE in Liberia. BRE came and fooled us, they lied to us, tell a lot of stories that they were going to do it, they never did it. And up to today, we are destroyed, they are destroyed our property, and people here in Rumors say they leave the country. The United States government, through OPIC, the Overseas Private Investment Corporation, approved $217 million in financing to Buchanan Renewables for its biomass projects, which promised permanent jobs, green energy, poverty alleviation, and economic development. Instead, the projects delivered livelihood destruction, severe worker injuries, harm to indigenous people, water contamination, forest degradation, and sexual abuse. So this community now is really vulnerable. We are asking the international community to actually give us assistance. They came, they said that they were to cut down the tree and do replanting. After they replanted, they told us that they would clean the farm and tell the farm to become matures. It was productive before when the trees were there. And the farm has gone way back. All the rubber they planted, they all died. No maintaining, nothing of the kind. As a result of OPIC's investment, many farmers are currently struggling to feed their families, are having to take their children out of school, and no longer have access to safe drinking water. Since BIA damaged the farm with catching problems, the children said to go to school, it's not easy. And they one one going to school, the other one is not going, because of no money. Uh, beginner, you need more than broth or, or, or chip here. When, when you ring, they chip the milk water, get on our drinking water now, the drinking water is spark. We don't have no water in the community at all. They we start experiencing, everybody started getting sick. We took some of the child to, to the hospital. The people said, but they loaded the water, you're drinking the water, not correct. And two persons died from all. Buchanan Renewables employees also abuse charcoal producers, forcing them to pay for wood with money or sex, and driving them to cut down endangered trees in the natural forest. When we are king, our life begin to get tough. Oh. They sick, they promised that they were going to be given all the small, small stick. They didn't give it to all. To get it on a fee, you either buy some of those machine people when they kind of put a little bit. They say, bring $500, bring one fine. Bring 2,000, if you don't have it, so they bury it, so they give it to their girlfriend, if you don't love him today. When he came across me, he said he wanted me. I didn't want him. And he decided to take my sticks from me, so I was jammed. I was forced to agree because I wanted money and I needed help. He asked me and then he said, I will help you. All I wanted was to depend on him for schooling. That made me have sex with him. But really, I didn't want to because I was underage. But he told me that if I refused, I would not burn coal on the field again, and that he would not give me any sticks and would not allow anybody to give me sticks. So I was afraid, and I was forced because it was my first time and I didn't know anything. So this was pure 100% natural forest. So after Biari had cleared all the sticks and carried away, there were no means for our survival into this community. So that's the time we moved into the forest to bring our stick. Additionally, Buchanan Renewables systematically failed to protect workers from serious workplace accidents. Many workers sustained severe injuries and continue to suffer from ongoing complications and disabilities. They caught the tree and they pulled the tree and they threw the tree now. He said he did not see me. That how he threw the tree on me. They took me all that how they put me on their back. I begin to cry. All my legs is broken, my arm is broken. Up to now, the iron in my hand, my hand burn every day and night. There was no training, no idea to say, oh, you are going to do this, well, how you are going to do it, nothing. Now I can't say I will go back to work. Maybe I will not, may not be able to work physically. Sexual intimidation was common at Buchanan Renewables, with bosses forcing female workers to have sex with them or face retaliation. Most of the bosses were having sex with the women in our department. They said that if you didn't agree to have sex with them, you'd be the first person to get her name on the list for termination. The abusive practices of Buchanan Renewables have left farmers and charcoalers struggling to sustain themselves and their families. Workers with permanent disabilities and women sexually exploited and degraded, caring alone for children born of sexual abuse. The U.S. government enabled these abuses through OPEC's support for the project. 
Affected communities demand that the responsible parties be held accountable for these devastating impacts.